Welcome back. In today's video, we'll be looking at ways to fix a USB device that isn't recognized or detected in Windows 10. This device could be a USB stick, a phone, headphones, microphone, webcam, or any other USB device. Hopefully today's video will help, but of course there is always the chance that there is physical damage, and it's unlikely that anything will help in that case, but it's worth a try. Some of these methods will require you to restart your PC, so it might be worth making note of which part of the video you are up to, so you can return to it. You could also load up the video on another device, such as your phone, to watch along. Or you could just restart towards the end of the video after trying a few of the methods, it's up to you. Let's get into the methods to try and fix this. The first thing that I recommend doing is checking the cables, connections and ports. This will obviously differ depending on the type of device you have and if it even uses a wire. Either way, it's worth checking for any damage if you can. Try and clean the ports safely, both in your PC and the connectors. This will help to rule out that the problem is with any of the physical parts of the connection. Depending on the device you are connecting, there might be certain settings on that that are required to be changed before you can use it properly via USB. A good example is with an Android phone, and if that isn't being detected properly, then I have a separate video for that specific issue. Click the card on screen now to go to that video of mine. Before moving on, it's also worth checking if the USB device is detected on another PC if you have the capabilities. This will also help determine whether the problem is with the cables or the device itself. The next possible solution to try is to use another USB port on your PC. It's possible, although unlikely, that it could be a USB compatibility issue, for example with USB 2 and 3. This is more likely to be the case if you are connecting an old device. If you have a desktop PC, there should be plenty of USB ports on the back, and these will be separate to those at the front and will increase the chances of it working. I would recommend trying as many different ports as possible to make sure that these aren't the cause of the problem. If you use a USB hub, then just try connecting the device straight into your PC. It's also possible that other USB devices that are connecting to your PC are causing the problem, so if you can, I would recommend temporarily removing them and just connecting the device that isn't being detected. Although it's unlikely, if that does work, then simply reconnect each device one by one to see which other device is causing the problem. If none of these methods worked, we'll move on to some more potential solutions. The next thing to try is to restart your PC and disconnect the power from it fully. This means that after shutting down your computer, you need to either unplug the power cord or turn off the plug socket. It's up to you if you want to do this now and then return to the video. You could always wait until the end of the video to make this the last thing you try, but a restart could help if you haven't done it already. Let's now move on to some of the solutions within Windows 10. The first thing we're going to do in Windows is check in the Devices and Printers section of the Control Panel to see if Windows is detecting it at all. It's possible that it could be showing as an unknown device. First go to the Control Panel, you can get there by searching for it in the search bar. In the Control Panel, click on View Devices and Printers, which is a blue link under the green Hardware and Sound title. In here, you can see all of the devices that are connected to your PC. If you can see the device that you are trying to connect, then first right click on it and see if you can troubleshoot it. Allow Windows to check for problems. Also, if you can see your device listed, try updating the drivers. You might be able to do this by right clicking on it and selecting properties, then hardware, then double click on the device again and then go to the driver tab. Choose update driver and select the automatic option first and see if updating the drivers helps. Finally, after this, if you see your device, right click on it and select remove device. Now reconnect your USB device and see if it works. These last few methods have obviously been for devices that are showing up in here and chances are you can't see your device. Stay in the devices and printers section, but now look for a device listed as unrecognized or unknown. Try the last few methods, but for this unknown device. If you don't see any device at all that could be yours, We'll now move on to some of the possible fixes within the device manager. You'll need to open the device manager and you can do that by searching for it in the search bar. When you're in the device manager, have a look at all the categories and see if you can find the one where your device might be in. Click on each category to expand it. 
If you find it, you should be able to do some of the things from the last method, such as uninstalling it or updating the drivers. Also, have a look through all of the devices in the device manager to see if there are any unknown or unrecognized devices, where again you could try the methods mentioned. Leave the device manager open, as we're going to need it for the next method. For the next possible solution, we need to find the Universal Serial Bus Controller section, which is the USB section obviously. Expand that section and look for the options called USB Root Hub. I have three, but you might have more or less. For each of these, double click on them and then go to the Power Management tab. In here, uncheck the box where it says allow the computer to turn off this device to save power. Do that for all of them and remember to click on OK. You might now need to restart to see if this has worked, but before doing that you might want to quickly try the next method, which is similar. Stay in the device manager and in the USB section as before. This time for each of the USB root hub options, we are going to try updating the drivers. Again, do this for each of them. Double click on them and go to the driver tab and then find where it says update driver and click on that. Now choose the automatic option and allow Windows to look for any driver updates on your PC. The most likely outcome is that there won't be any new driver updates, but it's worth a try. Let's move on to the next method. The next method is going to focus on Windows updates. Firstly, if you know that a Windows update caused this problem, then click the card now to watch my video showing you how to uninstall a recent Windows update. You only need to do that if you are 100% sure that the update caused the problem. If a recent Windows update didn't cause it, then it might be worth checking for and installing any new Windows updates. To check for Windows updates, go to the settings page first by clicking on the cog icon within the start menu. In settings, choose update and security. Now check for and install any updates on this page. If for some reason your PC won't update, then click the card now to go to my video showing you how to fix this and update Windows. The next thing to try is to think back to when this issue started appearing. Perhaps you installed a new program, for example new audio software, or maybe you changed some settings on your PC. Either way, if you did make a change, try and undo it if you think that might have caused it. We're now going to try troubleshooting. This is a built-in feature in Windows and could help depending on the device you are trying to connect. To try this, go to the main settings page and again choose update and security. This time choose troubleshoot from the options on the left. Now have a look at all the options to see if one might help with your device type. If you find one, click on it once and choose run the troubleshooter. Allow Windows to look for and suggest any fixes. If it's still not working, I do have plenty of videos on my channel which focus on specific devices, so go to my videos page and use the search to see if I have any other methods to help in some of those device specific videos. And so those are my methods to try and fix a USB device that isn't being detected or recognized in Windows 10. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways you can speed up your Windows 10 PC. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below. And if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in another video.